everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. So, I sh probably should have known better than to ask for feedback over Christmas break. Because I got nothing until about eight hours before I was planning on recording this episode. And then I got conflicting answers. So. Basically what I ended up doing was... I did some off-screening on a backup of the save file rather than on this one and I was going to start from that but because of the answers I did get I'm thinking it's probably better to just start from here and do everything on screen. So I need javelins first of all. Seven. I want ten. Oh, so I get five from this one? Cool. Well, I needed an extras. I needed extras to do to um, make the fire. Sorry if I'm speaking kind of weird. I'm a bit off today was supposed to record yesterday, but I got a migraine. And this is still the same character we left off with. And skills. So much spear skill. Kind of surprised we were able to start off with a Grandmaster spear skill. No trapping or agriculture, though. So yeah, it looks like it's time for bed. Should probably eat that wheat bread soon. It'll rot. I need one of those. Right, now we need to finish tanning this. And then we can get on with the actual plans for this character. I don't think I should have done that, but whatever. Make ten staffs, which will turn into ten javelins. I think our skill is low enough that it will only give us rough javelins, unfortunately. Yeah. Rough is probably the best we're gonna get. And the fire burnt out. Which I should have expected, to be honest. Oh well. There's firewood there. Make, weapon, javelin, ten. Use the crude ones. So this will give us a bunch of rough javelins, probably. Which is good enough for us right now. We don't need really great quality. Yep, ten rough javelins. Eat that wheat bread. Keep forgetting our character is so weak. So fatigue is definitely going to be a major issue until we can get a pack animal of some sort. Alright, well, we're going to need more slender tree trunks and a proper tree trunk to deal with this. Because I don't think we have any rocks around. You fully grown? Yeah, you look it. <sighs> Hopefully we can get this down before we collapse. Yep, just made it. I'm going to 
going to make a simple club of the slender tree trunks to use as a beading tool. A lot of the stag is going to go to waste, I think, but oh well. Come on. Game's lagging a little bit, I'm not sure why. Um, what is it? H? Yeah. Can tell I haven't played in a couple days. Can't seem to remember the controls at all. So getting the skin is definitely going to help us out a bit, because we don't have much in the way of, like, clothes. Really. We also need, like, cord for various things, I think. If we ever actually finish tanning this. Might starve to death before that. I'm exaggerating slightly, but we are definitely getting really hungry doing this. Alright. Harsh tag fur, but it's done. Comfortable and safe. Okay. I'm just eating all of these half eaten ones. Alright, so what do we have on us? Javelins, club, knife, arrows, okay. We definitely want those, because we're going to end up trading pretty soon. And we can't carry much of this. Hmm. We'll pick up as much of it as we can. I'm picking up one at a time because once we get to 53%, we're probably going to end up in 100% shortly after. Yeah? Okay. So that's absolutely as much as we can carry right now. Well, let's get out of here then. And... should be villages to the north. Mind trusting a squirrel. Right, I think to get around this lake I have to go this way. Like I said, I did some off screening so I know the terrain a little bit, but it's been a couple days and I've forgotten most of it. At least I think I know the terrain. It might re random it might just generate as you walk through, but I don't think that's the case. No, because this is the same. because I built the camp in the off-screening stuff right here. And I had traps here. So there should be a town not far north of here. That we can go to. Hopefully. There it is. Well, there's one. I don't know what these people have, though. So I'm pretty sure towns do actually, like, their contents do generate when you visit them. That's why when we switch to the beta, the towns we hadn't visited were already set up proper for the new version. And squirrel, out of the way, old man. Elk fur. Okay. What do you have? I 
Ooh, a spear. That's tempting. Kinda want a spear. It's capital C to talk. Right, arrow keys don't work. What can I trade from you? None of your stuff that I care about. Okay, fuck you too then. I really wanted that spear. Yeah, so it doesn't look like we're getting too much from here. Oh, farther north then. Settlement comes into view all the way over there. Okay. Actually, what I should do is trade all of these roasted cuts for preserved. Well, as many of them as I can, anyway. What do you have? Roasted, dried hair cuts. Sure, I'll talk to you if I can remember the button for it. Let me see what you've got. Well... Yeah, I'll take the loop snare too. Do I have trousers on? I do. So I'll trade you those trousers and a mug. I'll keep my fur. Okay. more things. And I'm trying to unload as much of this as I can, basically. Deal. Because it should spoil fairly soon. Okay, scroll for I don't really care about. Did we learn a ritual? No. Okay. But they do have a stage here, which is worth keeping in mind. Are you the same guy I was talking to earlier? No. Let me take those off for now. Because <coughs> I might want to trade my axe if he's offering... No, he's not. I was going to say I might want to trade my fine axe if he's offering that spear, but clearly that's not the case. Okay. Well, it looks like we've exhausted this town's worth. Dried pike, smoked cuts, sure. And again, I'm just trying to replace as much of this as I, of this meat that's about to spoil as I can. Halfway. Good deal. Probably could have gotten a little bit cheaper, but I'm not too worried about it. <coughs> Sorry about that. I shouldn't cough in the recording.
Sammy did change fishing a little bit, by the way, and I should probably show that off in a bit here. But I want to see if I can find another town. Oh, there's this little place. Oh, let's check it out. Couldn't hurt. I can afford that though. It's in here. Leather rope and skin, two hand axe, staff, some meat. Okay. Wolf fur would be nice, I think. Lynx fur. Did I just hear a door closing because of the um coda wall? That's weird. Oh, I don't like it. Dried foods. Because those will last the longest for now. Oh, your child. Sorry. Probably should have noticed that he was a child by his picture, but. Oh well. Hmm. Trade a couple of the arrows. Okay. Oh. Time for us to get out of here then, I guess. Got some preserved food that should last us for a little while. I'm going to stop over here and this will be our camp for the night, I think. Let's try fishing with our rough javelins. <coughs> anything. Do we have any more of those awful cuts? Yes, we do. Let's try again. Our fishing skill isn't terrible, but we are weighed down quite a bit. Oh, a log. Cool. I'm going to sleep here, though. Alright, I want to chop this into... What was it? Um... 
me chop into something. I think it was blocks and then... No. Boards. We're not staying here too long. Just want to get a couple things from this. I think boards were the ones that were pretty valuable, but not poor boards. Okay. So that's a waste of time. Let's try to get another fish. I don't know if the quality of the javelin actually matters for fishing, or if it would be better for me to use that fine club. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Well, let me try with the club. I know it would help a lot if I wasn't over encumbered like this. I should probably drop everything at shore before I start fishing. I think I'll do, actually. That might help. I want to show the changes to fishing, though. Which is why I'm doing this. Because I know we don't need the food, really. Doesn't look like we're getting anything this time either. Oh, we got a pike. Cool. And yeah, that's one of the big changes. Everything you fish up just drops on the ground. Which is pretty annoying actually, but whatever. Let's piss off Smokey. For non-Americans, Smokey the Bear is a mascot that basically tells kids to prevent forest fires. And yeah. Pikes got bigger. You can catch them, I've seen up to 8 pounds, I'm not sure if they get bigger than that. But they definitely got bigger. Which is not a bad thing. Okay, that's done. Let's take a nap with our face in the fire. So that stag spoiled. Those villagers are probably pissed now because we gave them spoiled meat, basically. But we have a roasted pike. And we sh should still have a couple pounds of that left. Yeah, five pounds of pike left. Cool. All right. So this is basically the plan for this character to keep moving. and just sort of make do with what we find and trade for everything else. Somebody on the forum, I don't remember who exactly, uh, Nick Cool maybe? I don't know. But recommended that I have a character who's more like wandering, not settled down as much. And I figured that's a good idea. Since my previous characters have all been trying to settle in and make a nice safe place for themselves. The challenge with this character though is that she's very weak in terms of like her carrying capacity and such. Which is actually a problem. Because we can't carry like an entire camp with us and we're going to need to find some way to trade for a pack animal if that's going to be a viable option. So part of what I'm hoping for is to just stumble across a Nyerpes warrior. Wow. 
that's exactly what I was looking for, actually. Alright, let's wield these javelins. Come and get me. I'm not going anywhere. I kind of expected that. <clears throat> but that's what happens when you go hunting for Nirba's warriors early on, usually. Oh well. This is something I didn't show when our last character died, though. Which is... that the Ancestor Memorial pages got expanded. And in midsummer... the place of her death was northern Kalmo fainted after being hit by a warrior and was hit and got a fatal wound while I was unconscious. Okay. Oh yeah. That's kind of expected, to be honest. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cough into the mic. Let's be... Let's be a Camelon. Actually, I want to see what the new portraits are. That one looks new. Yeah, I think that was the only new one. Let's start in winter. Um, that character is actually not terrible. And she starts off with good bow skill, so I'm not complaining. Stealth would probably be good. I'm gonna try to do the same thing I did with the last character, basically, only less dying immediately. Hopefully, less dying immediately anyway. Take fishing. Stealth. Um, carpentry might be a good one, because I think that determines our ability to make arrows. We have good dodge skill too. Hmm. Maybe a melee weapon would be better though. Axe is probably the best melee weapon that we could go for. I'll take tracking, actually. No, well, tracking's not that hard in this version. Take survival and axe. And hopefully we start off with some decent items, basically. <coughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try a couple characters like this where it's less settling down Um, we randomize a couple times. I want to start in the north. Yeah, like that. But, yeah, closer to that I think is better. Mm. Let's start with the abandoned camp. It's not really much that scenario, you just find a camp abandoned in the wilderness and settle in. But it saves me a lot of setting up. The hunting trip is probably the better option. But considering we're starting in winter... So what are our clothes looking like? Ooh, we started with, like, metal armor. Cool. Oh. Wear, not wield. So, 
so our clothes are reasonably warm. Loop snare, some firewood. Cool. And we're in the middle of the woods, it looks like. Starting in winter is usually a bad idea. And I doubt this will be any different. But I'm just having fun with a couple characters doing something I've never really done before. Besides, I've never shown you winter in this game. Because our last character died just... our last successful character died before she got that far. What weapon do we have? Anything? Staff and a hand axe. Could be worse. Could be better, of course, but it's not terrible. Cool. Out of the way, kid. So, Owl Tribe, and this looks like a pretty small village, actually. Alright, there's another one. Sage over there. Some furs. Okay, so... I know where there's a village now. Looking for something to attack, though. Which is why I'm hanging out in these open mires and... What are they called? I don't remember. No, these pine mires. Okay, well, let's get back home. No water nearby, is there? I just walked right past my shelter, too. Whatever. Yeah, this is winter, basically. It gets really dark at night. should keep us warm for the night. There's no water around now. Well. I don't think we even saw a lake or anything. to find water. Because we started out in the middle of nowhere, apparently. Minor frostbite. That sucks, but should be fine. Right. Hell. Still nothing, and it's getting dark already. This is basically why you shouldn't start in winter. Alright, cool. I found a little lake. Come on. Let's 
find our way to the lake and get a drink finally. What are these? Cloudberries? should be safe. Make a hole in the ice. Drink from it. And fill our little mug. Eat some more roasted elk. one real quick. I have the staff that we started with. And we're basically just fishing through this little hole in the ice you're wondering. Doesn't look like we're getting anything. Nope. <coughs> we might get something this time. Yep, we got a bike. What's it? Waltzy roast. I forgot to pick it up, didn't I? I do that surprisingly often. It's not good. Bike should still cook, even if the fire's burnt out. So, let's get back to wandering. And yeah, I'm not too worried about losing these characters. I just want to see if I can avoid staying too still for a long time. Because I've never played a character like this before. Ooh. have a bow though. Do you have a javelin and an axe? Fuck it. <coughs> it's winter and as long as um the temperature, shown by this bar, I don't think I've ever pointed that out, stays below or I think it's below this line, but it might be below halfway to that line. We should actually be perfectly fine leaving meat out in the open without it spoiling. Which is really handy. I probably have enough skill that I could have thrown that javelin and hit him, but I don't want to lose our only javelin right now because we need it to fish. My frostbite sucks. This is going to be another long episode because I had multiple characters in it. How are you looking? It's a small one, so I might be able to carry all of its meat too. It's handy. Yeah, the game is running pretty poorly right now. Not sure why, it normally doesn't, but 
Well, it normally does run kind of poorly, but not this bad. Alright. Hopefully we can catch up to this. Our character is pretty slow. Only 4 km per hour walking speed. Sleeping, which means it's probably not going to be tired at all. What's our stealth? 35? It's not that good. Yeah, it's not good at all. Oh well. Hopefully we can catch up to this. Not gonna be easy though. This is the downfall of having slow characters and why I tend to prioritize speed during character generation. Because the longer it takes you to catch up to an animal you're trying to chase, the more likely it is that they've rested up. I don't see the tracks anymore. Did it turn? There it is. But yeah, the more time it has to rest up, the longer it will take for it to actually get exhausted, and if you're too slow, it just won't get exhausted at all. Which is a bad thing when you're trying to hunt it like this. Normally you can eventually catch up to them even with characters that move at 3 kilometers per hour walking. Let's try to sneak. Damn. No such luck. But yeah, even a slow character can catch up to them eventually usually, but mostly just lots of walking very slowly behind them, like so. And in winter, if it takes too long, it'll get dark and you'll lose the track. But yeah, see it's getting a little bit fatigued now. Hoping we can carry all of the meat for this and go trade it in the village for stuff. Um, okay, that was really annoying. The game lagged up a little bit again, and it kept moving me in the same direction. good idea to sleep on the ice like that. Hopefully it hasn't recovered much fatigue. No, it's still slightly fatigued. So it's not getting too much more tired, but slowly we're getting there. Very slowly. I gotta cut the episode off once we catch up to the sky or lose this trail. How close is he? Not close enough. It's definitely faster than us. Why do we have an injury? Frostbite. Okay. That makes sense.
keep forgetting I started in winter this time, which is normally not something I would do. I probably shouldn't be running after him either, but it worked. Turn off running and smack you with an axe in the leg. Edge to the skull. Edge to the skull. <sighs> there you go. Probably going to get worse frostbite from doing this. Ragged. Can make some clothes from it though. No, I don't want to cancel. Probably should have made a fire next to us. From the uh, branches from this. Can't have to do that either way. Alright, so we can actually carry it, which is nice. more of that pike. Make a fire. Cut down the tree we made the fire from. And make a bigger fire. Fire is kind of a big deal in winter. Finish that pike. Start roasting this. And our frostbites are starting to heal. Alright, well, I'm going to cut the episode here, and I'll finish taking care of this meat off-screen. See you next time, guys. Bye!